TLO, what's poppin'? We are on Twitch. We are live. But by the time you see this, we won't be. So just leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. Right behind me, you see it. Little warning screen just in case. We don't know what these videos hold. Uh, we are on, we do have Patreon. We post five days per week and we also are on Twitch, obviously. Username's at the bottom of the screen, man. Also, that is all it. This is Backpacker Ben. I have a rant about Backpacker Ben. It's a good one, man. Uh, inside London's most feared hood, but let me... Copyright disclaimer under, under Section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976. Allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational, or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. No copyright infringement intended. All rights belong to their respective owners. True. Now, what I got to say is Backpacker Ben is the only person that I've seen not from these hood areas go to these hood areas and actually talk with the locals and get a tour. I salute that type of behavior. Unscared, unhinged. He doesn't just go at, in the broad daylight when everybody's there. He goes. He really goes for it. And I can have nothing. I got nothing but respect for it. Salute to Backpacker Ben. London, the UK's most dangerous city. But where exactly is the most dangerous area? Well, I was warned that the most dangerous place is in North London, and that is Tottenham. So I decided to take a visit. Bro, he's in Tottenham. Oh, he's with T and Crumpets. This T and Crumpets dude, TC. That was I know of T and Crumpets, but I've yet to do a video of his yet. This is with like shotguns, AK 47s, like literally running after each other. Oh, Someone sent me the video, I was like, wow. It's dangerous sometimes, worse than Afghanistan. Worse than Afghanistan. Wow. Wow. But for me, it's normal, you know. I want to see me on camera. You're not on the camera, mate. I'm not on camera, this is my community, bro. You see the one uh, that's shooting down the park, don't you? No, 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 wait, wait a minute. I'm not ready either. Ain't nobody else doing this. <laughs> not not like not in the way he's doing it. You see what I'm saying? He's in there in the trenches. T and Crumpets held it down, it looked like. And this is it guys. Welcome to Tottenham, supposedly London's most dangerous town. We're gonna walk around now, chat to some locals, and see if the reputation is true. So let's meet some locals and see what it's like. Let's do it. My bad, I'm not gonna lie. This is very astonishing to me. This is crazy. All right. Now listen guys, you can't just walk around Tottenham on your own with a camera. You're gonna get yourself into a tricky situation. So I've got a local to show me rounds. Let me introduce you to Magic J. What's going on? Welcome to the legendary Broadwater Farm Estate. And no, go back, go back. This is worrisome right here. You see this dude by my head? What he doing back there? He's back there making a call. Be cool. We are in front line. Front line? Yes, sir. Bloody hell. We're going to find out why they call it the front line here in Tottenham. So, Magic J. Yes, sir. Tell us why they call it the front line. Is this the Mandem or is he security? He's in every shot. Because this place gets hot. And I'm not talking about weather hot people. I'm talking about hot with the Mandem, you know, girls doing up to no good, but at the same time, everybody's trying to make their money, trying to do the thing, you know what I mean? Everyone's, you know, doing the wrong things to do the right things. Um, yeah, I just go by the name 705, based in Tottenham. I lived there for a few years now, and it's basically home for me, you know what I mean? How is home? It's all right, you know, it's, it's okay. I mean, it's like almost everywhere, it's crazy, you know what I mean? There's the positives and the, there's the negatives as well. So is it true, like, there's been like shootings and stuff literally down the street. Literally where we are standing just here, there was people with like shotguns, AK-47s, like literally running after each other. Someone sent me the video, I was like, wow. It was like literally broad. How, when was this? How long was this? It was Broadwater Farm, MPK youths, youngs against each other. Or farm, MPK youths yeah. going against each other because there's that little back and forth. They used to be together at one point, you know what I mean? But then I think because music status, a few other things as well involved, mm. jealousy. That's some story, mate. <laughs> Do you miss Nigeria? No, facts. To be honest, I haven't been back, so 
I haven't been back since I came here. I'll be telling you. But them. sometimes I could say, yeah, I miss home. Like, Where in Nigeria? Um, Lagos. Lagos, capital. Lagos, yeah. <laughs> I've already got the worst traffic in the world. <laughs> bro, <laughs> I called Nigeria. I'm like, what, what happens? Like, they're like, bro, when we leave home, we don't even say, I'll see you soon. See you tomorrow? No, because they don't know what time they're going to be. Because yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, you should tell them about how they put the cameras up to try and keep the crime down and stuff. Oh, yeah, cameras bare cameras, cameras around here now. So what's back here? Just a little walk path, but a lot of issues always happen. So now there's a lot of cameras up. So you see those cameras there? Yeah, yeah. They just follow you, literally, as soon as you walk in there, they're following you. So you got a kids play area, but then, as you see, you don't see a lot of kids. You see one or two, because the thing where next thing you know, you see man them just there, burning. So this is the Where's state, this is the farm. Oh, is that Tottenham Stadium, the yeah. distance? Yeah. Oh, shit. If you walk to the end, you see the stadium? I've not seen it before. Are you guys yeah. Then you're not showing him Tottenham and you ain't showing him Tottenham. <laughs> <laughs> Tea and crumpets. Yes, sir. Now, listen, all you American watchers <laughs> that think the UK is all tea and crumpets, Harry Potter, posh. No. Jake, tell them, mate, is it really like that? It's, it's not all posh over here. There's some posh parts in the UK, but at the same time, they're in the inner city, in the ghettos, we are not posh. We speak with, with a certain tongue, which is mixed with the Caribbean, British, even the Africans, and... We're, we're hood round here, as you say, do you get what I'm saying? Hey. How you doing, mate? Nothing bad, my brother, you okay? I just want to be, I just want to let y'all know I'm not one of those Americans who think that every hood is valid. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They got some type of validation. I don't doubt anybody's head. Hey, you know where I'm from? Afghanistan. You from You're from Afghanistan? Afghanistan. Mr. Yes, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone knows Ben. How are you, brother? Salam alaikum, my friend. You okay? How long have you been in London then? Oh, around maybe 26 years. 26 years? No way. When did you last go back to Afghanistan? 10 years ago. 10 years? Okay. Do you miss it? Definitely. You do miss it? I miss it as well. You miss Taliban? Yeah, I don't miss the Taliban. Sorry, what was it? I'm filming with my friend. What did? I want to see me on camera. You're not on the I camera, mate. I'm not on camera. This is my community, bro. I grew up here. This is my community, bro. I speak. Don't, don't, don't worry. We're filming for my community. Only I like it. I'm friends. Don't worry. Chill, bro. Chill. He's, he's, he's calm. Sorry, mate. You're a busy man. That's how you stand ten toes, T. Talk to him. I got to watch one of your videos after that. You were still ten toes for Ben. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no foolery around here. I won't yeah, keep you for too long. The ball is always <laughs> like this, you know? They say Tottenham's dangerous. It is. It is dangerous. It's dangerous. Sometimes worse than Afghanistan. Worse than Afghanistan. Uh, but, uh, but for me, it's normal, you know? The people who is on the street, or they actually, they doesn't know, maybe most of them doesn't know what's going on. Yeah. They just go to work and come back. So they, but you see everything. We see. You see the whole thing. Because why? I've been here five o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Five o'clock in the morning, you would see lots of things. You know what? I think if I was still in the rag, I think Ben would slide. I really do. I all, 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 I'm wholeheartedly thinking Ben would slide through. He would come through, do a little tour. What was that guy saying a minute ago? He had see, a problem. He had a problem. Why? What's his I problem? Just, I just say, you know, I'll get rid of him yeah. in a way. I should, I should do. I he see what you said to him. You told him to F off. Yeah. <laughs> well, we have to deal with him. Of course. Because this is life. Life is hard. And we mm. have to be harder. That's very it. true. Yeah. How long have you worked in the market? To be honest, around nine years, mate. Nine years? Nine years this business. Do you have the Afghanistan, what is it? The pomegranate juice? I can't remember. The juice? Remember the juice? Pomegranate juice. Do you have this? Oh, no. No? <laughs> Nothing from Afghanistan. Ah, no kebabs? <laughs> kebabs, you know, bring that them, was them. nice. <laughs> nice kebab, mate. Let me buy some fruit off you, bro. Yeah. Do you have a plan on going back at all? Definitely. Yeah, when? Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe next year. Yeah? And you'll have no problem going there? So. You don't think so? Oh, we'll go together. Me and Mr. Ball. <laughs> <laughs> why not? Why not? I know what he's going to say, mate. He's not going to charge, but I guarantee it. How much, mate? Huh? How much? Nothing, nothing. No, no, I knew you were going to do this. Can't no, no, right. take my money. There's only one. Take it, come take on. it. Put your card machine on come now. On, come on. Put it Thank on. You. Come on. Thank you. Come on. I can't accept that. I must pay. I must pay. This is a special for you, mate. Ah, uh, bro. See, this, 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 is, this is what we get. Are you filming? Yes, I am. This is what we get when you're in South Tottenham. 
people think South Tottenham is bad. People think there's there's so much crime and stuff, but we got we got nice gentlemen like him. Ali the legend. Ali the legend. You can always count on the locals of Afghanistan for some hospitality. And he gave me some free strawberries, refused my money. Typical Afghani hospitality that. Great people. Anyway, let's carry on. You're looking at geese that have done 50 years around Tottenham, you know? Born and bred, support Tottenham. So you got any questions? Yeah, what's it like living around Tottenham? They say yeah, it's a rough area, how is it? Yeah, well, we obviously it is quite rough, but then you, we've got a, a, a huge amount of population. You know, if you added the population that we've got to the population that you had in Plymouth, and you added the crime that you've got there, plus your population or divided by your population, it probably fizzle out to the same as what we've got here. What? Wait, what? Go back. Let me hear this math one more time. I'm sorry. Give me one second. I'm trying to figure it out. Let me get it. I might get a pen. Amount of population. You know, if you added the population that we've got to the population that you had in. Okay, Tottenham population plus Plymouth population. Okay. Plymouth, and you added the crime that you've got there plus your population of the. Plus crime, population and crime, plus population and crime of Tottenham and Plymouth. Divided by your population, it probably... If, if Divided by the population? It's a lot to the same as what we've got here. That's a good point. What type of... He could have literally just said, yeah, it's probably the same as Plymouth. You know, point. We've, yeah. got a lot, we've got a lot of obviously different nationalities, but everybody... I'm lost, okay. It's welcome, it's everybody's world. Yeah. But like I say, if you live in Tottenham, the main thing is you support Tottenham. Do you, yeah. miss, the, uh, do you miss Harry Kane? Of course, mate. Every night I cry, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I Cheers, mate. All right, see you It's just wait, one wait, thing. Wait, wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. The cash burn is not working, but it's like, no, 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 wait, wait a minute. I'm not ready either. Sometimes it hurts me. They say it too much things. Who is this, Lionel Richie? What if you get off the t <laughs> uh. I know. Top nap is great. We just need to. You see? <laughs> Welcome to the 15. Where we're in Curseworth, close people. Where I grew up, my neighborhood. I don't know what's going on here, I ain't been here for a minute, but it looks like the government, it don't give a shit, sorry, don't care about my block. Look at it, it's overgrown. It's due a trim, innit? It's, it's due to trim. I need a haircut, so this needs a haircut. <laughs> what was People it like still live here too? Like, around here, do you know what? It was fun. Yeah. yeah. I'm not gonna lie, mate, it was fun. Like, we used to play games called runouts around here. We used to play knockdown ginger. Bloody hell, look at the state of this. Classic car. Told you living in the hood is fun when you're a child. You don't know what's going on. All you know is there's a bunch of friends and y'all all in the same situation. You, but you don't know that, but y'all all feel and look similar. Mm. Back in the day. He needs a fix it up, her, innit? Oh shit, someone it's inside it. a person there. in there. Inside it, my bad. Wow. See, someone inside it. See, that's what you get in the ends. Oh, Mate, what's with the dude living in the car? Hey, he's probably homeless. He's probably homeless. He probably left his. He's probably left that car there for years. I don't even know. So this is it. This is where Magic J grew up back in the day. What's it like now, mate? Is it safe around here? Do you know what? It's getting better slowly. Um, but at the same time, there's been you know a lot of crime out here. But back in the days, this is where it all started for me when it comes to DJing. When it comes to Oh, playing out, DJ. fighting. I had fights on this road, but all of us just grew up and had and was friends now. They say that there's a lot of crime over here, um, drug stuff happening, violence, um, youths up to no good. But do you know what it is? If you're from here, you get to know that everybody is actually cool. You get what I'm saying? But it's just the thing that. There's a togetherness in this community. People think it's notorious. Come down here, check it out for yourself when they do the part sessions. They go, you know, they go. Nah, 100%. If you're in there and you live there and this is your spot, yeah, there is always a sense of community. They're always together. It's just when, you know, when you, when, 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 uh, when the man them 
get into beefs and other blocks get to slide and that's when it get rough. Lots of things happening here, you know what I mean? But at the same time, yeah, don't watch what the media says just because the, the man them hang out in the block and stuff like that. You get me? Because you can still walk past them and mind your own business and, and do what you have to do. You know what I mean? But if you're acting a certain way or moving a certain way, obviously, you know what's going to happen. So you telling me if I was by myself out there and I walked past the man them, nobody going to be like, Oi, what are you doing, bruv? Where you from, black? <laughs> <sighs> My fault. I, 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 I don't know. I'm thinking if I walk by there and it's just me, you know what I'm saying? I'm getting stopped 100%. Somebody's going to be like, hey, yo, yo. My man, where you, you, where you from? You from here? What's going to happen to me? I believe you, though. If I'm walking around there filming on my own, mate, they might take your camera, little They'll come up to you and say, "Who are you? Are you a reporter? Are you what? 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 What news company are you coming from? What are you doing around here? You know what I mean? You know they'll probably they'll probably take take your glasses, take it, take it, take your take your camera, and and go about the business. But as I said, this area ain't that bad. This area is literally not bad. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Now, it's only nine o'clock in the morning here in London, Saturday. Damn. And as you can see, it's a ghost town. Everyone's asleep Mind still. Mind them sleep. But, yeah, as Jay says, that's the sort of stuff that happens around here. Would I walk around here on my own with a camera? Maybe. But At 8 a.m., you good. Try to come back around like 6, 7. Yeah. PM. On to the next place. All people living here, look. Next to the station, these tents. Really in the stitches now, boy. We out here. Jay, tell the people what this is behind you. The iconic, legendary Tottenham Police Station or Fed Station. And uh, if you want to know something about this place, in 2011 we had the riots were started here because of the killing and the uh, death Mark of my Duggan. brother Mark Duggan on the 11th of oh, she say R.I.P. The week before the 11th of uh, August 2011. That's the place. So you were here when it all kicked off? I wasn't technically here, but I was here. I did see it. I did, I did see what happened. And I was DJing that night in East London and I came back on the trains and there was so much diversion, I couldn't even get out of Enfield to come down here. So when I did finally come down here, it was, buildings was burnt down, police was going crazy, cars was flipped upside down. It was mad. Blimey. Yeah, I remember it on the TV, but you lived it, mate. You were yeah. in these areas when it all kicked off. Mate, it was smoky, it was crazy. You know what I mean? You know, I know some of the shopkeepers who are still here probably remember what happened. That oh man, hold on. I left a comment because I've been waiting for this low key. It said, finally, we've been waiting. Don't like my comment on Backpacker Ben's page, man. I forgot about that. <laughs> Hello, mate. How you doing? Hello, sir. How you doing? Here we go. How are you? All right. Nice to meet you. Yeah, you know, I want you... You. Yeah, I want you to, mate. Seriously? No yeah, way? Yeah, I'm making a video here. Yeah, that other guy. The bold we're, man. We're, we're, yeah. making, we're making a video of Tottenham and, what, and basically we're telling the story of what happened in 2011. Do you have any stories what happened in 2011? With the riots? With the riots, yeah. Riots, yeah. yeah, 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 how, yeah. Did, how did that in, infect your life or what, what um, you know? I like to keep my sons off the street. Because they were teenagers then, mate. Yeah, and they're firms now. But, uh, you see the one, uh, the shooting down at Park Lane? Yes. Was that we're the other day? Yeah, we're gonna, yeah. we're gonna... So you grew up here your whole life in this area? MPK. That's the MPK's area, you know? Yeah. yeah. MPK. Yeah, it's the gang. That's one system. Yeah. Uh, but what is it like now? For everybody now. Oh, in today? Uh, Tottenham. Uh, I mean, I'm 70 years old now, so... Oh, bro, 70, he got that swag on him, don't he? He got that on him. He got it on. Yeah, it looks 70. Yeah. I'll spend more time on this side. It doesn't affect me. Yeah, I just go. Do you feel safe walking around on your own and stuff at night time, yeah? Okay. I've got plenty of street feet, so. Yeah, yeah. 
nice as well. That's quite a problem, mate. Yeah, nice to meet you too, mate. Yeah, What's good. your name? Yeah. What's your name? Martin. 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 Yeah, yeah. Martin said, well, I, I'm really out here. I used to be a stepper in Mucket. We are in the notorious Edgecott estate, which the government really don't care about. Jay's gone to hopefully get a couple people for a little chat, but it's hard. People are like camera shy around here. And yeah, this is what it's like for Jay growing up here back in the day. And it's a bit rough at the moment, as you can see in Old Edgecott Grove here in Tottenham. He just left you by yourself? So what's your name? Uh, Ricky. Ricky, nice yeah, to meet you, mate. Nice ben. You, man. Where are you from? Spain. Oh, you're from Spain? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Spain yeah, yeah. All I know is como estas. Yeah, well, that, you know, that's good enough, you know. You know more than I did when I came to London, you know. Really? I didn't, I didn't know that much, you know. How is it around living in Tottenham? Uh, it's brilliant. Uh, I've been here for... Uh, well, in, in Tottenham for like around 20 years. 20 years? Yeah, okay. Yeah, you know, and it's always been a yeah, great man living here. Like, I don't know, there's a sense of community. Like, you know, for example, here where we live, you know, it's a big uh, community. But, yeah. you know, we do have like events, community events, you know, yeah. people coming together. Okay. Um, you know, always felt that safe, comfortable, as I said, you know, nice, great people around here. And obviously things happen everywhere. But I think mm. Tottenham has uh, a bit of a reputation and no doubt, you know, so many people are having a, a mm. rough time, no doubt, you know, but I think Tottenham in general is a good community um, to live, uh, yeah. You're telling me you left the Spanish weather for this? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you see, I'm still like on summery clothes, you know. Yeah, still look at you. I've got my t-shirt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, you gotta run into the man, them. We're here on the high street in Tottenham. Jay is yeah. going to show us Tottenham Town Bakery. It's been here for apparently decades, is that yeah, right? over 40 years and it's the heartbeat of Tottenham. Everybody comes here if they want real Jamaican food. Let's check it out, mate. Let's check it out. We've got the sun. That's exactly what I was thinking this was. It's a Jamaican spot. Every time I see bakery on something and it's in the hood, it's a, it's a Jamaican food spot. They do bake stuff in there, but it's... Yeah. Oh, the sun oh, they cook an oxtail, curry, rice and peas, you know. Yeah, I know Leroy, which is the dad, that's pop, that's pop's tail. All the, everybody who's basically my age group, his dad is basically like our dad. Sorry? Shivado. Yeah. Nice. Different name, innit? Yo, this looks really good. Yeah. Hold on, time out. Let me, like, let, me, let me take a gander. Okay. Okay, man, got the fish. <laughs> the, the, the fried chicken. Okay, what else we got? Slide down. Yeah. What's what? the main like Jamaican dish? Jerk chicken, rice and peas. What is jerk chicken here? Well, I don't have it here, but no? this is mostly just fried fish. Fried fish, calories, sprats. This is the best ever. This is the best I ever. Plenty. This is the best cooking ever. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really. Good. Are you Jamaican? Uh, half Jamaican. Oh, Enjoy oh, that oh, meal, okay? Yeah, I've got my meal. What have you got? Uh, I see the patties up there. Yeah. Fish here. Yeah. And pea soup. Try the pea soup. The fish soup. The fish, yeah. soup, the the fish soup. head and the pea soup. Yeah. Right. Is it a good yeah. price? Yeah. I'm very busy. I wonder if they got brown stew chicken. I ain't seen none. Wow. How long yeah. have you been shopping here? Oh, yeah. Um, Since I moved here. About four months. I'm so hungry, man. Oh, I got a banana. Doesn't add up to anything they eating, but hey. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. I'm from, oh, I'm from Plymouth in the south, so I don't really come London. Oh, yeah. South, yeah. Yeah. Plymouth. Oh, Plymouth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Here to see the community of Tottenham. Oh. How is Tottenham? Yeah. I've only just moved there recently. So. Yeah. Settled in fine. You settled yeah, it fine? Quite yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. And now you've got a great restaurant. I've got a great restaurant. Well, enjoy your food, mate, alright? Take care. Best. Take care. Cheers, then. Show them some of the most famous dishes what you've got from straight from sure, the yard. Mate. Let's do it. We've got some yard food. Oxtail. I'll tell you what, I'll have some. Bumbo club. <laughs> hey, let me see one more time. Sure, sure, mate. Let's do it. We've got some yard food. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's good meat on them. It's good meat. See, the gravy looks seasoned. That's a good color. Ah. Uh, Oxtail. I'll tell you what, I'll have some. Let's do it. Oh, it looks yeah, this gonna change your life, Ben. Hey, Ben, tell me what you think. <laughs> Solid. 
It looks fantastic. Look at this. Here in Tottenham Bakery, we've got some ox, ox tail, right? Yeah. Yeah? There's some white rice, some coleslaw. Yeah. That is a solid banging meal. Let me get set up here and smash it. It's good. We're not doing that. We're recording in that. Make yeah. a video, mate. Yeah? Yeah. Do you want to be in it? Why not, bro? There you go. What are you getting, mate? Stewed chicken with fried rice today. I'm being cheeky. I should have rice and peas, but. Yeah, you do got stew chicken. Okay. It's Saturday, tomorrow's gonna be the rice and peas. Are you Jamaican? Yeah, I'm fully Jamaican. Good man. Yeah. Your food's good. Your food's good. The My food. first time trying the oxtail. And, 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 and he was local as well. Right across the road. Right across the road. Wix Tottenham. I'll tell you what, guys. I need to get myself to Jamaica. Because the food's solid. The people are great. Ben, if you don't pick that oxtail up by the bone like this and eat it like an apple, come on now. I think I'll go there next year. What do you reckon, mate? Definitely need you, bro. The song in the background playing, uh, Marley. I don't know. A lot of people don't know that that's a gospel song. Uh, but I love that song, man. It's just a vibe, man. In any mood that I'm in, it puts me in a great mood. Definitely need you. Look at that. Hey, sir. It's a solid meal. Behind me is a locksmith that's been here for apparently 80 years on the same road. Nothing's changed. The um, owner of the shop's invited me in for a little chat. It's called Cobbler's Lodge. Let's go have a word with him. Lemon pepper chicken. When I first came here, you had all the drug wars and bits and pieces, um, and you would always find somebody injured or passed away and this and the other. But then it got better, and you go through ranges of different people that sort of come into the area, and mm. you know the good ones, the bad ones, and whatever. Just recently, I've had the the cameras in, installed. And that was from idiots of my own nationality. Imagine uh, yeah. that. So, do you know what I mean? The truck. It do be your own people, though, bro. It be your own people. Trust and believe. Look at nights out, you, passing by. You, you can't judge a book by right, its cover. Well, yes, definitely. You know what I mean? Definitely. I agree. Um, but you do get idiots of every, of, for everywhere. But I, I love this area. This this is very family orientated for me. I like it. Everyone knows everyone, sort of feel. Yeah. It's like the hood is always family irritated. Like it's the hood. If you get into a fight with your neighbor, y'all gotta hash it out, y'all neighbors. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's like you watch my kids. If I'm if I'm outside, you take a look. I take a look. We all one, you know. You know that saying? Um, it takes a community, literally. It's simple. That's good. Yeah. Mm. And there if you go. ever there's any problems in the area by some idiot that comes, all of the shopkeepers especially, because we're here all the time, yeah. we'll, we'll get together to sort out that problem. Correct. A London video. Oh, I remember. Tottenham. Have you lived in Tottenham your whole life? Yeah, I was born, I was right around the corner. Okay. Okay, auntie. You got that shit on, don't you? <laughs> Show them who you are. How is it? Um, good. It's a good place. It's yeah. A good place, yeah. I'm getting good vibes. Quiet Met some interesting people. Yeah, quiet. Very, very quiet over there. But here is the hub where everything happens. Oh, it's chaos around here. Um, you have a lot of nice people around here. Yeah, yeah. Um, everyone loves the camera as well. It's good community spirit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And I know a lot about this street because I did. Um, I've just because I've got a social media site as well. Okay, what's your social media? Tot Tottenham Views and News. Tottenham yeah. Views and, and cover News. cover a lot of the histor history of what, what life is like here. Um, so I, I kind of know this area inside out. Yeah, interesting. Yeah. Yeah. How you doing, okay. mate? This whole area. What I'm saying is this, mum. <laughs> 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 Hey, what Lionel doing back? It was good with you. Are you gonna finish? Are you recording? Yes, mate. Let's talk. Let's talk. Come on. This whole area used to be. Listen, I'm gonna let you finish, but Beyonce had the album of the year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, they they don't go sorry they don't go back more than three generations. Yeah. You hear right. that the, the great grandparents. I tried it with my neighbours. The great grandparents came from East London. Right. Right. So Hold on, ma'am. I, I I hear I hear what you said, but I see something in the background in Tottenham. I'm I'm seeing I'm seeing parents. Something. I tried it with my neighbours. The great grandparents came from. 
East London. Right. Right, so around Shoreditch, you know, that kind of area. Because this was not considered part of London. Mm. This was the old, this was, this was seen as outside London. You know everything around here. I'm a historian. Wow. Yeah. What's your <laughs> social media again? Uh, Tottenham, Tottenham Originals Views and News. <laughs> When a rich man speaketh, every man holdeth his tongue. One holds his tongue and listens to what he's got to say. And look what he's saying. They exalt it to the clouds. But if the poor man speak, they say, what fellow is this? Yeah. Now you can't do a tour of Tottenham. Yeah. Poor man speak, they say, whose man's is this? <laughs> I'll come into their football stadium. Now I hate this team. But I'm going to show you their stadium anyway. There they are, Tottenham Hotspur. But Jay, behind us, mate, you want to show us the famous chicken shop, is that right? That is the famous chicken shop that's been there. I feel like some stuff didn't happen in this chicken shop that I've seen in documentaries and music videos. For 43 years. 43 bloody this. years. I am 42 in July. So look how much years that's been there. I, that's, I've been going there since I was a baby. Let's go in there and speak to the owner. There you Apparently go. Apparently he's a legend. Let's go in. Yes. Chick King, outside Spur. That's like the equivalent to... Tasty Subs on the north side, JB Alberto's, Buffalo Joe's, Chicken Shack. <sighs> Man, I, I just miss Mild Sauce. Harold's. Nice. Well, I, I, I left school in 1986, yeah. oh, and I was geez. coming in long before then. Yeah. So, <laughs> See, that shows... Best oh. chicken shop in North London. See, that shows yeah. how legendary this chicken shop is. Yeah. Everyone who comes in here will say the same thing. Like, even people behind us who's coming in probably saying, brother, get out of the way, I want to order my chicken. So how long has this been open, the shop? Yeah. Yeah, they know he's a favorite. They got, bro, they got it a long grasp. It's that chicken shop, it really be having your heart. Don't, don't get it messed up. Look at this. Oh, there he is. There you What's go. your accent? Accent. Yeah. Greek. 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 Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> the original. <laughs> I've, got, I've got a question. So you're an Arsenal fan, yeah. you're a Spurs fan, yeah. and you're both happily married. Yeah. Absolutely. Wow, fair play. Did he give him a 36 years? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Fair play, respect. Married Somerset. You married Somerset? Yeah. Married Somerset, oh, yes. And oh. the method to it is, don't listen to the bullshit. <laughs> wow. Wow. Guys, listen, that was Tottenham, the place they told me to avoid. The most dangerous place in London, they say. Now, I heard some stories. I heard a mixed reputation for a lot of people. But thanks to Magic J, listen. It's all love, man. Absolute legend. Yeah. Tea and Crumpets, link below. Go check out his channel. Yeah. Go watch me with a tour with Jay. And yeah, honestly, thanks a lot, mate. Appreciate You're that. Welcome. I and, think and, I've and, seen everything. And people come to Tottenham. Tottenham is a nice place. Don't don't look what the media tells you, because in the, the day, as what we said in the video before, there's things that happen, but it happens everywhere. It even happens where he grew up. It so does. Come it to does. Tottenham. Yeah, it does. That's it for now, guys. Until the next time. I'm off to Africa. I'm leaving the UK. I've had enough of this crappy weather. <laughs> it's like me telling somebody to come to Drake City. I just wouldn't do it. <laughs> I just wouldn't do. It. Come at your own risk. <laughs> I'm going to Africa. See you later, Jay. Thanks for watching. Uh, peace, mate. Bye.